Hello students, today we are going to start the another topic of the chemical equilibrium. In last lecture, we have discussed the responses of equilibria with the different conditions. So in last lecture, we discussed the first condition is response of equilibria to the concentration means in equilibrium condition at the equilibrium point, if we you apply the stress means if we changes this something we if we disturb the equilibrium condition that time we know we going to understand is it the reaction is favored to the product side or reactant side what happened after the we apply the stress stress means we disturb according to Lee Chastler principle if we disturb the condition and if sufficient time is available, it is possible the system we reaches or we system makes the different equilibrium point. It depending on availability of time and conditions. We already discussed what happens if concentration is changed. So if concentration change at reactant side or concentration change at product side means if we remove the product, so concentration is changes if we add the reactant also concentration is changed so what happened after adding the reactant or after the removing of the product we already discussed in last lecture today we continue this topic and the second point is response of equilibria to the pressure means if pressure is changed how equilibrium point equilibrium condition response response to it we here going to discuss and it is a pressure condition means mostly here the important point is the reactants and products are present in which phase. If products and reactant means a reaction is in a gaseous state, a reaction in a solid state or reaction in a liquid state, this is very important. If there is a reaction in a liquid state or in a solid state, there is a less influence of the change in pressure. Because of the pressure, change in partial pressure of the reactant or product for the solid and liquid, there is a less effect on the solid and liquids. But if reaction condition is in a gaseous state, that time change in pressure is very mostly influence, very effectively influence on the equilibrium condition. So that time it is possible the equilibria shows responses towards it. And if equilibrium condition responses to it, that time reaction direction is changed or means backward direction or it is a forward direction in depending on how the pressure conditions are change. So basically there is a number of moles of gaseous reactant and number of moles of gaseous products are very important, uh, uh, play the very important role when we discuss the given topic. So number of moles are very important. You know, if for the gaseous conditions, there is an ideal gas equation we consider PV is equal to NRT. PV is equal to NRT. And how do we consider P? So here P is equal to NVRT. So NV means number of moles upon volume is directly considered as a C, is the concentration. C is the concentration. Okay. And suppose we consider same reaction, means H2, sorry, N2 plus thrice H2 gives twice NH3 means all here in a gaseous state. So in given reaction, the change in pressure is very effectively influence. And here the pressure which are expressed as a P is equal to, it is a CRT or PV is equal to NVRT. NV is the concentration of that gaseous molecule. So pressure is taking place of this, partial pressure is taking place of the position of uh, as a con concentration. That means in solid and liquids, basically concentration express in a, for liquid means in a solution state uh, express in a per liter, mole per liter is a consider. But here partial pressure to be considered 
as a concentration when the reactants and products in a gaseous state. So, for the gaseous state, using for this equation, we can calculate value of Q. Value of Q is considered as a concentration of NH3. What is the co exponent or coefficient is considered? There is a two, two molecules are here. Then here is the N2 upon H2. So using this, we can calculate value of Q as well as value of and also K. K is equal to Q at the equilibrium point, I already told you. But suppose if we apply the stress, we disturb the condition, what happen after it if the value of K is changed? And definitely if equilibria responses to the disturbance condition means pressure here, definitely the value is changed here. So here we consider the value is changed is Q is increases or decreases. Q is increases or decreases that will decide reaction favors towards the right side or towards the left side. It depends on in the uh, how Q is change. So suppose we consider this condition, look at here at the denominator there is a N2 has exponent 1, H2 has exponent 3. So total exponent value is here 4. But at numerator, there is a NH3 and the exponent is 2. So, if we apply the pressure, if we apply the pressure, here number of molecules are different, here number of molecules are different. So that time, if we apply the pressure, means increase the pressure or decrease the pressure, the concentrations of these reactants and product, means partial pressures of reactant and products are changed. So in that case, the Q is changed, Q is changed. So this responses of equilibria to the pressure is only applicable to that equation where the number of reactant and number of product molecules are different. Means concentration or exponent of reactant and exponent of product means number of moles of reactant and number of moles are uh, of product are different. Suppose all are same, if any reaction which is given and their number of moles are same, means suppose H2 plus Cl2 gives twice HCl, H2 plus Cl2 gives twice HCl. So how we write Q is here is equal to here HCl2 upon H2 upon Cl, Cl2, okay. So here at the denominator, there H2 has one component, Cl2 has one component total, two moles. And at the numerator, there is a HCl has two molecules. So here also two, here also two. If we apply the pressure or we reduce the pressure, there is no effect on the constant, partial constant pressure of the reactant and product. In that case, there is a no nothing, means the Q value is remains constant. There is no change in Q, so that time there is no effect of pressure. So effect of pressure on the equilibria when the number of molecules are different. So it is the second point. So that time, that for that case very important, the number of molecules of react, gaseous reactant and gaseous products are different. If they are same, there is no effect of pressure. Okay, so that time Q remains same in that condition. So Q is change or Q is less. So it is just effect of equilibria, means response of equilibria to the pressure. Next one is to the temperature. Next one is to the temperature. 